This beautiful piece of architecture is the location of this week's Great Day Dining. Dunedin's Fenway Hotel dates back to the Jazz Age and has hosted notable artists, musicians, and politicians. Today, we are exploring this structure's history and taking a look at the menu of the restaurants inside these walls. I grew up cooking with my grandmothers, very southern raised ladies, and um, I always thought I was going to be a musician. I played the drums and went to college for that first, but I just always worked in restaurants since I was 15 and cooking and really kind of found my love with this line of work. Right now, I'm joined by Chef Eric McHugh, the executive chef here at the Fenway Hotel. So we're in one of two restaurants inside of the hotel. Where are we right now? Right now we are inside of Hugh Parlor and Chop House restaurant. We have our parlor bar outside and then uh, this is our Chop House. Um, and the other one we have is our Hi-Fi rooftop bar and lounge. Perfect, well, let's talk about what's on the menu downstairs. Downstairs here, you know, we, we kind of play around with a, a classic Chop House theme, but we are in Southern America, so we try to throw some Southern comfort food flair in there and just have a little bit of fun with the dishes and make it not so straight up steakhouse. But you like to play with different things, adding different items as the seasons change, correct? For sure, yeah. We'll do about four, at least four times a year, a seasonal change with the menus. We'll keep a lot of our signature steaks the same. We might change the sauce or the preparations up on them, but then some of the other proteins will change out and the appetizers and salads and things will rotate seasonally. Well, let's get to the food. Why don't we? Where should we start this morning? Well, uh, we'll start with some of our starters here. In front of you, we have our smoked beef tartare. We kind of take a, a little bit of a Worcestershire and Dijon vinaigrette with shallots and capers and a raw egg yolk. And then we use a smoking gun and smoke it. So when it comes out table side, we pull the lid right off and the smoke comes out and you get that smell along with the, the flavor in the dish. Um, or the, our char-grilled octopus with blood orange barbecue sauce and a little fingerling potato salad and some fresh charred oranges. I love that. Now, I want to transition to this bad boy up in the front because when you first look at it from a distance, you think it's scallops, but it's not. It's actually it's a mushroom. Scallops. It is actually mushroom. They are seared king oyster mushrooms. Uh, it's an entirely vegan dish uh, with a parsnip puree made with almond milk and the charred king oyster mushrooms, a roasted corn ceviche, and a little red chili glaze. Okay, and then beside that here, cheese. that's our, that's not just some mac and cheese. <laughs> that's our French onion mac and cheese. We Ooh. took the best parts of sherry caramelized onions and mixed it in with mac and cheese and brulee it with the Gruyere cheese on top. Okay, I think when I put my fork into that, it's gonna lead to a happy dance. Oh, absolutely. You know it's good <laughs> when there's a happy dance involved. I can't wait to try that. And now, let's get to the burger. I love burger with an egg on top. This is our signature Huber. It's a half pound Wagyu beef patty with Swiss cheese, sherry caramelized onions, kind of those same French onion flavor onions, some baked slab bacon, and a fried egg on top, because who doesn't love that? So, so good. And then, and right then there our in front. signature tomahawk. <laughs> It's Whoa. our 44 ounce signature tomahawk steak with a roasted mushroom demi glace. Um, we sell a lot of those. That's our big number one Seller? item. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. That could feed a whole family. It could feed a whole family. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people order that just for themselves. Really? We had a 10 year old kid order it for himself last week. 10 years old? 10 years old. He was my spirit animal. <laughs> I absolutely love that story. Now, let's talk about the name a little bit because I know it's a nod to the hotel's history. Can you walk me through that so a little bit? So, Hugh are actually the initials of the original architect of the hotel, Her uh, Herman Everett Wendell. Um, so, we have a signature cocktail named after him called the Wendell. Wow. Um, and it also kind of a double entendre to Hugh also means to cut or chop something. So, you know, we kind of used it as a little double meeting there. You have a great staff back there. It's been nice hearing you guys chat all morning. Yeah, it's just a, it's a fun environment. As you see, we have the open shop counter you can come dine right on the kitchen and interact with us we, we like to keep the atmosphere light and fun come have a cocktail up at hi-fi for sunset come down enjoy some nice dinner here or on our front veranda and continue watching the sunset from there and, and just have fun with it so we are upstairs at the rooftop here at the Fenway Hotel called Hi-Fi. I'm joined by General Manager Michael Melendez. Thanks for having us. It's an absolute pleasure. I mean, what better place to have an interview at than Hi-Fi? Well, let's do a toast to that for oh, sure. Salut. Cheers. Cheers. So tell us a little bit about the Fenway's history because it's called Dunedin Home 
since the 1920s. We're also called the Grand Lady of Dunedin as well, so Fenway is just all about history. The hotel, built in a 1924 is actually the first radio station in Pinellas County, which was 19, 1927, which was back in that time WGHB, but it was also the very first class hotel as well. It's also been universities for it too. So now I consider myself the heart of Dunedin. Being an iconic location where it was at, you know, you'll hear stories from the neighbors, like for me, I walk to work, and I get to talk to them all the time. You know, th those abandoned moments, you know, what's something so beautiful, iconic at Fenway Hotel when it's not in use, and then in 2018, have an opportunity to work with Maintail to revive history, to turn it into an iconic autograph collection hotel, which is very tough to do in itself, and then to be able to tie in with local community, host events, it has just been nothing but success. Beautiful place to come, have a drink, uh, watch the sunset too. What's on the menu up here? Oh, so it's our bar bite style menu here. You have like a Hugh Hip uh, signature sandwich, our meatballs as well for you, flatbreads. And it's more the on the go because everybody here wants to see that beautiful sunset on the same yeah. Jefferson Sound. So we kind of even tie in more to where we try to get a, a patron out here while the sun is setting. We'll get them two symbols. Everybody's tapping on the board as well out there. Sometimes I'll try to come in here to get a video of it out there. And while the sun's setting, I, I believe the whole entire neighborhood could hear the symbol. <laughs> I love that. I think it gives that term of like a hidden gem. And I've been learning more being here since March is that a lot of our guests that are staying here, and it's not just the locals in Dunedin, we, we're very known in the local community by all means that we'll do all the support we can. But Tampa, you know, the Brandon area, you know, even the Sarasota, Orlando, we're that place you can drive to to see a sunset, have an exceptional experience, and get an experience exactly like nothing else. Well, to see the full menu and learn more about their hours, how to make a reservation, all of that jazz, just visit FinwayHotel.com and click on Taste.